This is directly related to the FBI's ongoing investigation of the terrorist attack in San Bernardino. Uh, and this is a, an investigation that's being conducted by uh, independent law enforcement officers. Uh, they've made uh, a case to the court uh, that this um, a telephone, uh, this iPhone, that was owned uh, by the uh, San Bernardino Department of Public Health, but was used by one of the terrorists, um, that they should have uh, access to that phone and that I Apple should disable the auto erase security feature on the phone. That's the case that they've made to the court. Uh, and the court issued their ruling, say that they uh, issued a ruling uh, indicating uh, its agreement. Um, so for questions about, you know, whether or not that's appropriate or what uh, additional steps the Department of Justice will take if uh, Apple uh, chooses to appeal the ruling, uh, I'd refer you to the, to the Department of Justice and to the FBI uh, that, because they're leading the investigation. I think it is important to note here, Josh, exactly what the Department of Justice is requesting. Uh, they are not asking Apple to redesign its product uh, or to create a new back door to one of their products. Uh, they're simply asking for uh, something that would have an impact on this one device. Uh, and, um, you know, again, for the merits uh, of that argument uh, and why the Department of Justice has concluded that that's important, uh, I'd refer you to them. Obviously, the Department of Justice and the FBI can count on the full support of the White House. Uh, as they conduct an investigation to learn as much as they possibly can about this particular incident. Uh, the President certainly believes that that is a, an important national priority, but it's ultimately the responsibility of these independent law enforcement professionals uh, to do that.